to do the differentiation of these questions. So let's see the answer. So first here, writing the given y equal to sine inverse and then after here 5x or plus 12 root 1 minus x square divided by 13. So this is the given after or doing this here. So first we can write now y equal to sine inverse and there we can write 5 by 13 x and here 12 by 13 root 1 minus x square. So here let or sine theta equal to x then obviously cos theta equal to root 1 minus x square because here cos theta we can write root 1 minus sine square theta and sine square theta the value is 1 minus x sine theta plus we can write x square so now here putting y equal to sine inverse so x plus we can write to or this is now sine theta and of 5 by 13 and root 1 minus x square that is equal to cos theta and here 12 by 13 now after that to here so let's so write here cos alpha equal to of 5 by 13 then definitely here sine alpha that is equal to 12 by 13 how is that possible so sine alpha we can write root 1 minus cos square alpha so root here 1 minus cos square alpha so 5 square 25 this is now 169 and this is equal to 169 minus 25 169 and this is now 144169 and after doing this here 12 by 13 that come so sine alpha is now 12 by 13 so again here let here cos alpha equal to 5 by 13 then here sine alpha that come 12 by 13 and after doing putting the value so this is now sine alpha sine inverse and uh, here sine theta and this place we can write cos alpha plus and here and this is now cos theta and 12 by 13 we can write sine alpha and after that we know sine a plus b formula sine a plus b that is equal to sine a into cos b plus cos a into sine b so this is here we can write this is sine a into cos b plus cos a into sine b so a equal to theta and b equal to alpha so now here we can write y equal to sine inverse so this place we can write theta plus alpha sine theta so there curly bracket and here sine theta plus alpha now then after sine inverse sine theta that is equal to theta so that here y equal to we can write this is now theta plus alpha and after that to here theta so theta or this here or theta plus we can write sine inverse x y equal to theta plus we, we can write theta sine inverse x and alpha plus 
here this is now uh, cos alpha okay so alpha place here we can write to cos inverse 5 by 30 cos inverse 5 by 30 or if you want then alpha place you can write sine inverse 12 by 30 after that doing the differentiation with respect to x so dy by dx and here d then after sine inverse x and this is now cos inverse 5 by 30 divide by dx and after that uh, we can write this one d sine inverse x dx uh, this is now d cos inverse 5 by 13 divide by dx so now sine inverse x differentiation root 1 minus x square and this is all the constant part so constant part its differentiation is 0 so now here we can write dy by dx that is equal to 1 by root 1 minus x square so this is the answer of this questions and this is the way we can do the differentiation of this question so writing the given then after this here uh, assume sin theta equal to x then cos theta equal to root 1 minus x square then after here cos alpha assume 5 by 13 then sin alpha 12 by 13 and after that here you should use this formula sin into cos b plus cos a into sin b sin a plus b <coughs> that is equal to sin theta plus alpha and this here we can write theta plus alpha so after that do the differentiation then you can get these terms so this is the way we can do the differentiation so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next to it thank you